It's a pleasure to share with you today in this devotional from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, that you may declare the wonderful deeds of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. These wonderful verses from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. And I particularly want to think uh, today on the fact that God has called you. He has called me. And he has called us to be involved with his people, the church. Now, that's a great picture. When God calls, or when we think of being called, somebody else wanted us. Now, undoubtedly, some of you who are listening to this devotional can think about a time when you were chosen or a time that you were not chosen. Unfortunately for me, uh, many times I think of not being chosen in elementary school when it came to playing uh, a game on uh, the playground, particularly uh, whether it be football or whether it be soccer or whether it be baseball. Uh, some of you who will know me in my earlier years, I was uh, always the smallest in my class. And when you're the smallest, uh, when the rest of the boys uh, choose who's going to be on their team, and if you're the smallest, you're generally chosen last or you're chosen next to last. But I can remember now and then a time where there was a friend of mine who was a captain who would choose me uh, much uh, higher up uh, at the top, and it really made a big difference uh, the way I played the game afterwards, uh, knowing that uh, the captain really did want me to be a part of the team. Well, Let's think of it that way uh, today as we think of 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10, that God called you and he called me. He wants us to be a part of his team. And he has assembled people truly from around the world to be a part of his team, the church. God has called you and he has called me. Now, in a time of uh, lockdown, it's natural to, to become more isolated and natural to become a little bit more depressed that uh, we're missing events that we're used to having. But this still doesn't uh, uh, turn away the truth that God has called you and he's called me. Uh, he still uh, loves us and he still wants to uh, bring us together as a church and reformulate uh, us as we move through these next coming months uh, to uh, coming back uh, together again. He wants you. He wants me and that should never be lost uh, on us. So if you're feeling a little depressed today, thinking that you're left out, don't think in that that term at all. Instead, think of God chose you, he chose me, and he's still choosing us and still choosing um, uh, me to be a part of his team. A number of years ago, uh, I was involved with a translation project through uh, some of Casper uh, Schwenkfeld's works, and we brought this article uh, into the book, uh, Eight Writings on Christian Beliefs. Uh, my guess is you've seen this around the church. Uh, this was a project back from uh, uh, 2004, 2005, 2006. But one gentleman who translated uh, a pa passage for us translated what Schwenkfeld said about what, who, or where the true Christian church is. And his name was Edward Furka. And uh, Edward translated uh, these few sentences, and I'm just going to leave you with this as a closing thought today. This is Schwenkfeld, uh, who's being translated. The Christian church is a gathering of all those people who willingly accept the teaching of godliness, who hear the word of the gospel and receive it willingly. By its effects, they separate themselves from the masses of this world as they bemoan sorrowfully their own sins. They enter a new life which is governed by Christ, his life, spirit, and teaching. Then note at the end what he says. They are the elect people of God, brought forth to become diligent in good works and to walk therein. They are the elect people. They're chosen. They're chosen. God's people are chosen. It wasn't we who chose ourselves. We didn't do it. Somebody else wanted us, and they want us to be a part of his church and a part of doing his good works in this world. God wants you, and he wants me. And I hope if maybe you're feeling a little blue uh, today that you'll remember that he wants you on his team very much, and he loves you. God bless you.